Right guys, I'm playing War Robots on my I'm playing War Robots on my iPhone 14 Pro Max and I'm using the backbone uh, as a game control on this. Right, so he wants me to win three matches. I'm gonna try. I've won one. I've uh, got two more matches left. I just wanna try, you know, because like I told you, I don't play this game that much like I used to. But when I do get the opportunity to play this, see, I'm using the backbone. And this is a 14 Pro Max. Uh, this is a terabyte version. I'm using my iPhone 12 to record this. Uh, the reason for that is when I do use my Samsung, uh, the Galaxy Z Fold 5, and I'm playing games on that one. The advantage is I can use a DualSense controller. Uh, I don't, I'm not bothered with uh, using uh, a backbone. I think the, the Samsung, the Galaxy Z Fold 5, is too big anyway, because of the double screen thing. Actually, the game I want to play after this one, uh, probably one of my favorite games is Call of Duty Mobile. And then uh, second from that game is uh, War Warzone Mobile. Like I told you guys, I think those games are, are good, especially with the backbone. War Robots, yes, I do play War Robots. You can see I'm playing it. But I feel like it's a bit overrated. It's overrated because you know the problem with this game. Every time they release a new robot, the older robots lose their value, you know? I mean, it's a pity. I mean, I wish I could say something different, but I can't. I, I just feel like I have to tell you guys the truth. This game, every time, like, I find people buying robots and stuff and be like, oh, I bought this robot. Oh, yeah. And they get into a match, and what happens? They get pulverized. Like, they, they just basically lose the robot. They're like, oh, but I spent so much money on the, the robot. And I'm like, I told them, I said, don't waste money on old robots. Wait for them to do a deal, like on a Titan you've always wanted, or a robot that you actually need, and make sure that that robot is still in the gold, you know, like it's a gold robot. Because they, they now grade these robots. You, you know what I mean? So if that robot that you're trying to get is not graded in gold, like, you know, where, where it sits, like on the, uh, on the, I don't know what you call it, before you put it in the hangar, isn't you can, you, on, when you go to the store, you can actually st tell that it's got this, um, it's got that circle uh, underneath the robot. It's that circle where you need to look at. And if you see uh, that it's, it's a golden circle, then yes, you, you buy, you would buy that robot. But if it's not on a golden circle, don't waste your money. Now, I'm being serious. Even if you've waited a very long time for that robot or that Titan, the only Titan I would buy that's probably no longer in the gold, I think, is uh, Ox Minos. Now, if you're going to ask me why Ox Minos, because an Ox Minos is, to me, is like another robot. Uh, the ability to run on the field, uh, the ability to... For me, it's like a, it's a second robot that you can use. So, yes, I mean, an Ox Minos, unless, unless it's really expensive, it's really expensive, I wouldn't advise anyone getting it. But if it's cheap, like it's like really cheap, then yeah, I mean, I'll tell someone, you, you definitely buy it. I mean, you, you want an Oxfinos, get one. I am not. I wouldn't be telling the person to get one because obviously it's cheap or something. To me, I'll tell you something. I, I consider the Oxfinos, in my personal opinion, to be a second robot. A robot that you can actually use. I know it sounds dumb when I say a robot, but that's what I've always considered the Ox Minos to be. Uh, if you ask me why, uh, because solely the Ox Minos can run on the field. Um, it causes damage when it runs. And if you give it the right weapons, like uh, at least two cinders, and maybe one of those Vajra weapons, then that's all good because the cinders, the fire still causes damage to a lot of robots still, you know? So th this, this could be something uh, it could be a robot that you just buy uh, because it's going to help you. You understand? So that was good. I got two matches. I just need one more. And then after that, I moved to Call of Duty Mobile. Like I told you guys, I do not do a lot of uh, things in this game anymore. But from time to time, 
I do like uh, to play a few tasks, you know, just just to to like to keep my games active, like they know I'm still playing it type of thing. But um, I don't hate this game. I just feel, you know, like like I said, it's it's just a bit, um, you know, like it, it never changes. Like for example, uh, they keep selling old robots for very expensive prices. I think this game would have been better suited if they made those old robots cheaper, you know? Like just cheap, like $2, $3 with all its weapons or with some kind of weapons. And um, then you sell the new robots for the money you want, you know? But not this, all this like, oh, people are gonna buy it because, you know, they want it or something. The problem with buying old robots, I'll tell you something. The least problem with this type of uh, thing of buying old robots. You know, if I go into this, I know I'm gonna lose my robot. I'll tell you the problem with old robots. They they will die a whole lot faster. And when when you least least expect it, um, it, it, it's not it's not value for money. I think I don't think it's just my personal opinion. I don't think it's value for money to buy something that is not going to um, give you you know value back. You understand? It, it's just it's just how I think about things. Because you know, you just notice like a lot of people uh, buying stuff they don't need, right? So I don't know why someone just left this open. And I have to come here. Oh, it's this robot. And this guy is even lazy. Maybe I can cause a bit of damage. Oh wow! Can't even move now. I need to come like, down. Look at this. That's a lynx robot. I'm use, all my weapons are ice throw weapons uh, from the heavies, the lights. I think they're glaciers. Oh, damn. Let's do it. He doesn't come to help me. He's even facing me. I'm like, who, who, who does he think I'm, what, are, what does he think I'm doing here? Then? He didn't come to help, no. He comes to just to stab me. You, you, all, you all saw what he was doing. He's like, what, what kind of player are you? Come in, help, help out, help the squad or something, do something productive. He's just looking at me. I'm like, shoot this dude. Don't, don't stare at me. Shoot him. Kill him or something. You know? This is turning out to be terrible, man. No, I'm serious. Um, I don't hate this game. Don't, don't get me wrong. But this game has a serious issue with um, people not wanting to be... I don't know what it is about people in this game. No, no one will ever help you. You know? It's almost like they don't care if they win or lose. That's just the truth. People, people don't care if they win or lose. That's how I feel about this game. Alright, so that, that was a good plan. Uh, with this game, all the controls work with the backbone. So if you don't want to touch the screen, you don't have to. But I know you've seen me sometimes touching the screen. So what I'll say is when I'm touching the screen, it's not to say that you don't, you can't play this game without touching the screen. It's just like if I'm selecting a robot or I remove a part or something, that's when I'll mostly uh, do things like that. For me, it's, it's, it's not like I can't play the game. Uh, completely without that no that's not the case it's just wow okay i think i will take the offensive i'll use uh baloo luchindor from here right so let's see is that another balloon i don't even know what the hell that is that a cell now. okay that's a surf i think Oh, that's an Aether, isn't it? It's a Titan. Right, so that's a Titan thing. But it's down on the ground, it's really weak. It's not that strong. Right, let me try and help him out.
What kind of runner is it? Doesn't make sense. Well, that thing needs to be taken out, man. Good, good, that's gone, that's gone. Damn, man. Oh, wow, check this out. Oh, man. This is what I don't like about people now. They, they won't come and help. No, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what they'll do. They'll, they'll stay where they are, and then they, 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 this tendency that people have, oh wow, that's another meeting though. Damn. Oh wow, I've got no shield. I've got no shield on me. That's a fat me as well, attacking me. And I'm, I'm having to think of what to kill first. Wow, this is a problem, I need help. Oh wow. <laughs> talk about, talk about reinforcements. Wow! <laughs> hey, look at that! I'm getting attacked by three robots! Huh? No, no one even uh, thinks to help you in this game. No, no one. No one bothers himself like, maybe if we help this dude out, we could win the game. Nah, no one's thinking about the game. <laughs> you know? That's why, that's why sometimes I despise this game. No one wants to help you out. Nobody. You, it's like an afterthought. It's, an, it's always an afterthought. Yeah, we're gonna lose this game. We're gonna lose this game. I know, I know for certain. Yeah, we're gonna lose. Because there's, there's no unity in this game. You can tell there's no unity in this game.